everyone. My name is Kat and I'm here in McCarrick State Park. I hope you all have had a wonderful week and happy Friday. Since it is Friday, this is our Friday Craft Corner live stream. And today, the craft that we will be making is a birdhouse out of popsicle sticks, white glue, and markers. First, I want to start off by saying thank you to the Mendocino Area Parks Association. They are an amazing association that helps all the parks, all the state parks down the coast of Mendocino. So thank you, Mendo Parks. And I also want to give you a heads up that this Sunday is Mother's Day. So with our craft that we're making today, our birdhouse, maybe this would be a great thing to give someone that we love this Sunday on Mother's Day. Can't say that we didn't warn you. <laughs> now, like I said before, this craft is made entirely out of popsicle sticks, white glue, and then when it's all dry, we're going to use our markers to make it nice and colorful. Since this is a craft, sometimes it can get messy. So having a piece of wax paper down to protect our workspace is important and rolling up our sleeves so the craft stays on the wax paper and not on our clothes can also be really helpful. Now I'm going to go ahead and shift our view and we can get started with our craft for today. All right, so we got our wax paper to keep everything nice and clean. We're going to start off by building the base of our birdhouse. You're going to lay out your popsicle sticks nice and neat, just like this. And you want to have enough that they measure one popsicle stick long, just like that. And here's going to be our first time to use our white glue. It's a good time to make sure we're on a nice work surface. And we have our sleeves rolled up. You're going to make a line from one side to the other on both sides of your popsicle sticks. And then press another one down on top. That's going to hold the base together so that the bottom of our birdhouse or any little bird nests that get built in here don't accidentally fall off. That would be a sad, sad day. There we go. Now it's okay if you see some glue coming up over the edges because it will dry nice and clear. Our next part we want to make sure to build is the sides of the birdhouse. So we have our two sides started right there and we're going to kind of crisscross back and forth until we build up the sides tall enough. I like to have about four popsicle sticks on each side. So just a little dot of glue on each corner will do it. And press. Now we're going to go ahead and repeat that step a couple of times. So one, two, three, four. And on the other side. So that's how we get the nice walls of our birdhouse built up. And let's do it. We're going to do it two more times. One, two, three, four. And again. All right, for our very last wall to go up. There we go. Should be a little easier to see for you. Now, I think this crop is really fun, especially around Mother's Day because we're not just building it for the ones that we love on Mother's Day. This is also something that can help Mother Nature. It's going to help the birds that live around our neighborhood or near our home. So when we put this up, they have a nice easy place to put their nest. Okay, there we go. So now we have a little bit started on our walls. Next thing you need to do is grab four popsicle sticks. 
and you are going to make a line of glue down two of them. One. And two. You're going to take the popsicle sticks that don't have glue on them and attach them. Just like this. So it's like you're just building one really, really strong popsicle stick. And what we're starting to build here is this part that's going to hold up the roof. So there's our double popsicle stick. So you know where that's going to need to go. It's going to need to go. Let's see if I can turn this guy around. It's going to need to go on the outside right here. So it's easy to start with a spot of glue there. Spot of glue there. And they're going to need to stand upright. This is the part where sometimes we need to be extra gentle. Yes. It always feels good when things go the way that they're supposed to. Now let's go ahead. We're going to do that on the other side too. Two spots. And popsicle stick. If you want to add a little bit of extra support, it's a good idea to go ahead and give yourself an extra line of glue right there to make sure everything holds on nice and tight. We're going to do that on both sides. Now, I know this looks like a lot of glue as you're working with it, but it's okay because, like I said before, it's all going to dry nice and clear. Now, we need to build this part. For me, it's a little bit easier if we measure out how far they need to be apart, like that, and go ahead and glue it flat on the table. Something that could help with our measuring, we know that these are going to span the length of one popsicle stick. Go ahead and measure it out with one right there, like you're making a triangle, just like that. And that's how I know that it's going to be the right size. So, guess what? Another dot of glue right there. Okay, so we have one triangle, but like we can see on this frame right here, we're going to need two. So when you're moving your craft, try to do so pretty carefully because that glue is still, ah, still nice and wet. Unlike what I just did. <laughs> oh, well, that's the best part of crafts. They get messy sometimes, but it's always, always, always fixable. Just like that. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to make another one of those frames with a spot of glue. Oh, the wind is not working with me today. And another triangle. Just like that one. Now, now is a really good time to go ahead and give your craft a minute to rest. We want to make sure that that glue is nice and tacky before we attach the frames to the two popsicle sticks that you have glued to the bottom. So maybe it would be a good time to look at the other live streams that we've done on this Facebook page. Maybe it would be a good time to help around the house. You can clean a room or do dishes as an extra gift for Mother's Day until we're ready. Now here's where it gets. This is where you're going to need a little bit of patience. This is a little bit of the harder part of the craft. We need to take popsicle sticks and glue them upright all the way along. These kind of look like rafters. I'm going to show you the way that it works best for me. But if you figure out another way to do it, let me know in these comments. And when your birdhouse is all finished, I would absolutely love to see a picture. So let me show you how I attach the popsicle sticks to the rafters. 
and clear my workspace here. All right, so we have our little rafters glued up here. So I'll get these out of the way. What you're gonna do with the rest of your popsicle sticks and your white glue is make a line all the way up the rafters, just like that. And very carefully, one at a time, it's okay that the glue is dripping. More glue means it's going to be extra solid. And we're just going to place them one by one all the way up. As you can see, sometimes this gets to be the little bit of the harder part because we almost have to balance them on there. But you all have done the rest of these crafts so beautifully. I thought you were ready for me to throw a little bit of a more difficult one at you today. There we go. Uh-oh. All the way up. As you can see, it builds itself up in no time at all. So, when you're finished with one side, ta-da! You're going to go ahead flip it around and do the exact same thing all over again your line of glue and here we go my popsicle sticks are not cooperating with me today but that's okay because that way i can show you what might happen during your crafts too so you saw the bottom one fell out that's okay you can scooch them all down and just try to re-glue again and once this is all dry that's when you get to do the fun part where you get to turn this into something colorful and fun. On mine, I wrote, Happy Mother's Day. And I put some nice soft grass in there for whatever little bird you might want to call this home in the future. Thank you everyone for watching our Friday Craft Corner. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. If you are looking for more live streams and more at-home education we're live every monday with our mpa monday interpreter nikki we're live on wednesdays at one in hendy woods with interpreter steve and on fridays we get to make crafts with me here in the character state park thanks again everyone have a wonderful weekend and happy mother's day to all of you